What's up, nation? So today, um, we're gonna be making a 220 bucket set. Um, I've had quite a few requests, I guess, on how I make my 220 bucket set. It's pretty simple. Um, you can use these for coons, uh, possums, bobcat, skunk. Heck, you can even catch a squirrel if you want. Um, they're pretty simple. I'm gonna go into basically two different sets. Uh, just your normal bucket set and then I'm gonna go into uh, using the bucket set for Bobcat also uh, just a small little variance not much nothing fancy so I guess we'll just jump right into it all right so we're gonna go over a few things uh, of course you got your bucket uh, I like to use the square tidy cat buckets and then what you'll do is you'll notch a hole I'd probably say inch and a half maybe two inches across and maybe about two inches deep something like that one on both sides just like that and that's where your trap um, springs are gonna go I got a stick over here smacking me in the head all right 220 conner bear I'll show you how to set that in a bit and then trap setters uh, I don't know if you can see that right there uh, what these do is they have notches in them right here and what those are going to do is, is basically if you don't want to set these by hand uh, There's some people out there that just don't like to do it or they have a long line and your hands just get they Start to hurt after a while of compression these springs. So this is definitely one of the uh, it's a hand saver um, So you definitely don't you know tear up your hands uh, Let's see. Oh a cable so what I do is with my cables. I usually have a quick link on one side and then a hoop on the other. And I'll show you how to attach these to the trap and to the bucket. I always attach my um, cable to my trap, to my bucket, and then to my anchor point, which is usually a tree or maybe a, a anchor of some sort, pogo anchor, earth anchor, something like that. I do that, I attach my bucket with my cable because I've had it where if you're tra trapping along a creek or a river, uh, the water comes up and submerges your set and if you're not cabled off to your bucket well your bucket could just float on downstream and you lose it so nice little nice little uh, tip but uh, anyways we'll basically try to get right to this thing uh, no rhyme or reason how you do it um, I just take my bucket and you put these going horizontal not vertical horizontal just like this and what I like to do is try to find some sticks or something to kind of prop it up so uh, if it's a cone they'll crawl over top of it and everything like that and sometimes they'll knock it over and well trap will go off and things like that so um, I basically just kind of try to take some sticks and just kind of you know try to keep it so they're not all pushing it around and things like that you know just kind of push things into the ground yeah you, know, you, you get that you get the idea I mean just secure your trap so uh, a coon or something just can't jump on the bucket and you know knock the thing over now as far as the traps concerned on this 220 bear, trying to get this thing here We're gonna get a different trap. Alright, so on this 220 cone bear, you have your chain. It's got a little anchor hole, anchor hoop on it. And here's another thing. Make sure you're always trap or uh, tagging your traps, please. Uh, just so people know what's going on, who's there, different things like that, uh, whose trap it is. Uh, you can get these things cheap off any trap in place. Heck, even I think any kind of uh, arts and crafts store, I think you can get stuff like this. Uh, just your phone number and your name and maybe your address if you want, whatever. I just got my phone number and my name on there. That's it. Uh, so anyways, these are the springs right here on each side. This here's your trigger and your dog. And you got your safety latches right here. 
one on each side. That's for setting them. And that, uh, after you get those set, I'll, I'll make a big thing about that. Always remember to remove those before you leave your set. Because if you don't and it gets triggered, well, trap ain't going off. So, anyways, on how to set this thing, I told you about the, the trap setters. I'll show you by hand, then I'll also show you what the trap setters. So you can kind of have an idea of how this thing works. So you can press this spring right here. You bring those two together. And it can be a pain in the butt. But you bring those together. And you get your your uh, safety latch on there just like that. The other side, same thing. You're going to do the exact same thing, except I'm going to use my uh, setters here. And all you do is just put it on each spring here and here, just like that. See that? And then compress it. Just like that. And you put your safety latch on your spring. You'll let up on it. There we go. Now, I always make sure that my springs are facing completely horizontal. And my trigger is right in the middle. Just like that. Trigger's in the middle. Your dog's here on the back side. Just like that. Then you just compress them. Pull them together. Just like that. You'll hold it. Now if you can see this, see if I can get in here. You got a couple different notches on this dog. I always use the closest notch like that. If you can see that. If I can get it in there. Here we go. I always use the closest doll or the closest notch. And then I always put that bad boy in the middle. You can bring these things up if you want. You can curve them up. However you want to do it. I've seen a lot of guys basically just bring them down and then straight over on each side. It just kind of depends on however you want to do it. It I don't think it really matters a whole lot. I know animals really don't like things in their face but you just have to experiment with it and that's the cool thing about trapping is is um, just because one person tells you one thing doesn't mean it's you know your idea is not gonna work I mean trapping I like trapping so much because anything you can you could all it is, is just paying attention to the animals you know and if you find something that works for you man go for it because you know just because somebody tells you something doesn't mean you got to do it you know I mean this is just what I do um, and then you can just take from this what you will and and how you do it and you know best of luck to you and I hope you catch tons and tons of fur so anyways basically how this is gonna work is on the inside of my bucket if you can see inside there right if I can get in there right there You'll see that screw? There's a screw right there. Now what I do, right inside, right inside on that screw, I put my bait up into that screw. Um, I like to use harder bait, meats, uh, chicken bone, you know, meat, things like that. Stuff that's going to stay together really good. Um, because for one, if you just lay it down here in the bottom, a lot of times you'll get mice that will go in there grab your bait and then run out and you're baitless in your bucket so I like to put it up here in the top so they really can't get to it and two when an animal comes in this trap he's gonna have to try to come up to get to your bait and when that happens he's 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 pushing himself up so your traps gonna go off and it's gonna get a perfect you know uh, body grip set so instead of just coming in like a coon, you know, if, if your uh, bait is not far enough back or they're a big ass coon, they can reach in there and they can grab that and pull it out. 
you know if it's a smart coon they'll do that so i always put it up here up in that that screw and i mean it works for me so anyways put that like yay and then you'll put your 220 keep my trigger on or my safety here safety zone what you'll do is you'll take this thing and you'll run it in here just like this you'll run your springs right through them notches okay and then this is what i do a lot of guys say you know either up or down or however i always go down so springs up trap down springs up traps down so i go like this okay the reason i do this is a it puts your trap farther down to the bottom so they're gonna have to come down and up to get that that bait down and up to get that bait when you fold your springs in like that it pinches it into that bucket so your trap's not going to move that's the other thing i like these kit these tidy cat buckets because they got all these ridges all the way around them so when you fold that those springs up it kind of catches in all them ridges and it's a pretty solid i mean you can tell you know that thing's not going nowhere it's it's secure so basically um what you'll do is is once it's all done and gone or it's all set up and ready to go you'll take your your uh cable and you'll run it through your trap spring or or your um uh chain over here on the side and you'll just run it through the loop so you make a big hoop just like that i mean pretty simple just make a loop and you know put it do that way tie it around a, an anchor point i got a little stick wrap back here it don't take much to hold these things because i mean heck you're trying to the body grip's going to hold them anyway so all you're really doing is just making sure that your bucket and trap just don't kind of walk away and you'll anchor it here so now on this thing most of these buckets have handles well the bucket that I grabbed today didn't have a handle. I don't know where the handle went. Apparently it broke off at some point in time. A lot of times these things sit out in the weather for so long that the handles break off. Well, usually uh, I'll attach this cable to the handle on the bucket. And that's, that's usually where I attach to. If you want to, you can drill a hole uh, in the side of the bucket or something like that that you run your cable through. Uh, anything to attach the bucket to the cable. Pretty Pretty simple. So anyways, that's pretty much it on a, you know, how it works um, just remember before you leave your set take your trigger your triggers off okay make sure you take or not your triggers I'm sorry make sure you take these trap holders off of the spring holders these keepers those little keepers right there make sure you take those things off otherwise your trap will not fire okay always remember to take those off I've done it I've done it tons of times where I've been in a hurry and I've set up a good set and I've walked away and then I come back and checked everything the bait's gone the traps laying on the ground and my my safety locks are still on I mean it happens I've done it so anyways that's pretty much how it works uh, I can definitely say you don't want to get your fingers in one of these things uh, they do hurt severely bad so I would definitely not recommend doing it but these things will go away from each other so they're gonna go this way out so basically if you set this thing off just like that you know it's not gonna get you but if you're on the live side on the inside of these traps these jaws they will smack you and trust me they will draw blood when you smack them on your fingertips I've done it so anyways when you get this bad boy set up in there and i'm just gonna put it in here put it like yay for now so anyways that's basically how i run my coon set um pretty simple i don't camo my buckets uh just for the simple fact is because uh if you got a white bucket or a yellow bucket or something like that uh coons like to they like they're curious animals um, they will go after a bright colored bucket very I mean they'll see it and they'll go after it so it's another thing to entice them in I like white buckets um, I guess if I wanted to color anything at all I'd probably paint most of these things white 
um, just because cones are attracted to bright colors and you know stuff like that so um, anyways I will now show you uh, a Bobcat set with a 220 exact same setup nothing different uh, you'll set your bucket set you'll set your 220 exactly the same the only difference that I use is I use a uh, sight for the trap I use a cider for the trap is some fishing string and something that they can visually see I use, I like to use duck wings goose wings bird, you know things of that stuff I usually shoot like waterfowl and things like that and I use a lot of waterfowl for my trapping bait uh, but that's another thing is getting feathers on me um, make sure you check your rules and regs to see what is legal if you can do things like this and what you can use for bait in your traps that is that is hands down number one you need to make sure what your rules and regulations are for your trapping and whatever you're trapping just to make sure you're, you're good and in the clear and everything's good everybody wants to keep on the up and up and be a good trapper and a respectful trapper so but anyways uh, what I basically do now my bucket of course you can see the top of it just right here um, what I do with this is I'll find a branch basically it's kind of overhanging my bucket and I'll just tie a fishing string to the wing and then tie it to the branch and uh, I don't think there's any kind of rhyme or reason you know how far how high things like that I've done all sorts of different measurements I guess you want to call um, you know on on how you I don't know how you want to say it like uh, you know six foot out ten foot out uh, you know things like that I, I don't think it really matters a whole lot uh, I think the biggest thing is is that you want it close enough that the cat can find your wing and then once he finds it then the smell of whatever bait you have takes over and they just they just jump right into the into the trap so pretty simple all I'm gonna do is basically just tie this thing this is basically just a Bobcat set uh, for how I make my Bobcat sets with a 220 bucket set um, like I said you know I usually go I usually try to go maybe four about four or five foot out maybe four foot out from the, the bucket and then maybe about I don't know five foot high four foot high something like that um, just because if they're walking the perimeter of a, a tree line or wherever they're walking they can see the wing because cats hunt with their eyes dogs hunt with their nose cats hunt with their eyes so they'll be walking along a tree line and then pow they'll see this wing or whatever you're going to use flopping in the wind they're going to come over here and check it out pow there's your 220 bucket set they're going to dive in there and it's all over from there so the only thing that I might do on dressing this setup is the duck or goose uh, that I did kill for this. Uh, I'll take pull a bunch of feathers and everything and just kind of sporadically throw them around the bucket to kind of entice them even more to come in. Uh, everything visual on a cat. So the cool thing about a bobcat set is two things. A, it's a darn good set to catch bobcat. I mean, it is an awesome set. I love using it. It's easy. It's an easy setup. It's fast. And two, this is not just for bobcat. You can catch coons, possums, skunk, uh, you know, bobcat, whatever you, in your area, whatever's going to dive into a bucket set, it, you're going to catch. So it's kind of a multiple set, basically. So it's very productive. I like it. I like the wing set. A lot of people use CDs. They use uh, Christmas tree garland. Uh, anything flashy. Anything that's going to move in the wind, things like that. So... Anyways, um, I guess that's pretty much it on my 220 bucket set. So if you guys have any comments or anything like that, uh, if you want to see any more of what I do and what my sets are made of, uh, comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. So I guess that's pretty much about it, guys. So if you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you guys keep getting the, the notifications when we're posting new stuff. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side.